Air travel, it can sometimes be a thrilling experience, especially when it comes to landing. While most landings are smooth and uneventful, there are a few airports around the world that are incredibly dangerous. These upcoming airports test the pilot's skill to the limit and requires the utmost precision and expertise. So for today's video, we're gonna count down 15 of the most terrifying plane landing approaches. Number 15, Tenzing Hillary Airport, Nepal. The Tenzing Hillary Airport, located in Lukla, Nepal, is often regarded as one of the most frightening and treacherous airports in the world. Pilots who dare to land at this airport face a multitude of factors that contribute to the fear and anxiety associated with the experience, including the airport's challenging location, a short runway, unpredictable weather, and the demanding approach angle. Nestled in the heart of the Himalayas at an elevation of 9,300 feet, the airport is surrounded by towering mountains and rugged terrain. This creates a daunting environment where pilots must navigate through valleys, contend with strong wind, and carefully maneuver the aircraft to avoid the surrounding peaks. The sense of flying among the awe-inspiring Himalayan landscape adds to the adrenaline rush and makes each landing attempt a high-stakes affair. And then, of course, there's the airport's short runway. Measuring just 1,729 feet in length, the runway offers limited space for pilots to land and stop their aircraft, leaving little margin for error. The Himalayas also create their own microclimate, which can change rapidly without warning. Low-lying clouds, fog, and strong crosswinds are pretty common, reducing visibility and making each landing attempt even more perilous. As if that wasn't bad enough, the runway has a steep gradient and it's situated on a sloping hillside, requiring pilots to make a challenging descent and execute a precise touchdown. The narrow approach path coupled with the surrounding mountains leaves little room for error. On the other hand, pilots who successfully land at this airport do have the opportunity to explore the magnificent Kumbu region and the iconic Mount Everest. But is that enough to justify the risk of flying to this airport? Number 14. Princess Juliana International Airport, St. Martin Who doesn't enjoy relaxing on the beach? Well, anyone who ever goes to the beach by this place for a start. Princess Juliana International Airport, located on the Caribbean island of St. Martin, is renowned for its hair-raising and heart-pounding landings, making it one of the most thrilling and fear-inducing airports in the world. Pilots who approach this airport face a unique set of challenges, combining factors such as a short runway, low-altitude flyover, and yes, its proximity to a popular beach, making it an intimidating experience for even the most seasoned aviators. One of the primary reasons pilots find landing here so scary is the runway's length. Measuring just 7,152 feet, which is significantly shorter than those found at most international airports, this leaves pilots with a limited margin for error, demanding precise control. But that's nothing compared to the beach issue. In other words, the low-altitude flyover of Maho Beach, which lies just beyond the runway's threshold. As planes approach the airport, they must descend close to the beach, giving beachgoers an awe-inspiring and seemingly perilous view of the aircraft overhead. The close proximity of the beach and the large crowds of spectators create a visually intimidating experience for a pilot, who must maintain focus and execute precise maneuvers. The region is susceptible to tropical storms, high winds, and occasional heavy rain showers, which can also significantly affect stability and control of aircraft during landings, and pilots must be prepared to handle gusty crosswind landings, adding an extra layer of complexity to the anxiety. The airport's location on a small island further increases the challenge faced by pilots. This places immense pressure on the pilots to execute a flawless landing, as there are limited options for troubleshooting or aborting the landing procedure, it doesn't sound like much fun for a pilot, does it? Well, who knows, maybe it is. Number 13, Paro Airport, Bhutan. Situated in a narrow valley surrounded by towering mountains, Paro's airport approach involves navigating through a series of steep descents and sharp turns. Pilots must execute precise maneuvers to navigate this treacherous terrain, relying heavily on their skill and training. Adding to the challenge is the unpredictable weather, too, that frequently engulf the region. This airport's notorious for its strong crosswinds, downdrafts, and turbulence, which can make a landing incredibly difficult. Dense fog, low-lying clouds often blanket the valley, further reducing visibility and creating an eerie atmosphere for pilots. To make matters even more daunting, Paro Airport lacks an Instrument Landing System, or ILS. An ILS provides pilots with precise guidance during approach and landing, helping them navigate with accuracy. Without that crucial tool, pilots must rely solely on visual cues and their own judgment, intensifying the pressure. And again with this one, the runway is notably short, measuring just 6,500 feet in length. This restricts the margin for error and demands a precise touchdown. 
pilots must execute a challenging visual approach following a narrow flight path that requires concentration. Any deviation or miscalculation could have disastrous consequences. The combined effect of those factors creates an atmosphere of apprehension and anxiety for new pilots. The need for a flawless execution and split-second decision-making places immense pressure on the flight crew, demanding a high level of skill and focus. Number 12. Funchal Airport, Portugal Funchal Airport, situated on the island of Madeira in Portugal, is widely recognized as one of the most challenging and nerve-wracking airports for pilots to land at. Pilots who dare to approach and land at this airport face a multitude of factors that contribute to the fear and anxiety associated with this experience, including the airport's location, strong crosswinds, and a runway perched on stilts. Yep, that's right, stilts. One of the main reasons pilots find landing here is so terrifying is its location. It's nestled between the Atlantic and steep mountains. The airport's surrounded by dramatic terrain, which creates a challenging environment where pilots must navigate through narrow valleys and contend with strong crosswinds. The gusty winds can create turbulent conditions, making approach and landing procedures extremely demanding. They got to employ their skills and experience to anticipate and counteract the effects of this crosswind, ensuring that the aircraft remains stable. The runway was extended in the year 2000 to provide additional landing space, and this unique engineering solution adds a level of excitement and trepidation for pilots. Landing on a runway that seems to emerge from the ocean requires exceptional precision. The sensation of flying so close to the water's edge can be both awe-inspiring and daunting. The island is known for its changeable weather patterns, which could include sudden changes in visibility, low-lying clouds, and heavy rainfall. The steep descent requires precise speed and altitude control throughout the approach, ensuring a safe touchdown, and they got to be fully focused and have exceptional situational awareness to execute a successful landing while managing the challenging terrain and the dynamic weather. Number 11. Svalbard Airport, Norway Svalbard Airport, located in the archipelago of Svalbard in Norway, is notorious among pilots for being one of the most intimidating and landing sites in the world. The airport's unique geographical location, coupled with its harsh climate and treacherous surroundings, make it a truly terrifying experience, even for the most seasoned aviators. First and foremost, it's situated in the high Arctic, just 800 miles from the North Pole. This extreme northerly latitude brings with it the unpredictability of polar weather conditions, which could change rapidly and dramatically. Pilots often face strong gusts of wind, blizzard, reduced visibility caused by fog, snow, or freezing fog, and these weather phenomena make landing and takeoff incredibly demanding. The airport's surroundings further add to the fear factor. It's in a remote and desolate region characterized by rugged mountains, glaciers, and icy fjords. As pilots approach the airport, they're confronted with a dark and unforgiving landscape devoid of any signs of civilization. The airport's short runway length is another aspect that adds to the anxiety here, which seems like quite a common factor in many of the airports on this list. At just over 8,150 feet, it's considerably shorter than runways found at many other international airports. This limited runway length restricts the margin for error during takeoff and landing. Oh, and did I mention there's polar bears there too? Yeah, they pose a potential threat to both aircraft and personnel. Special measures such as extensive fencing and regular polar bear patrols are in place to minimize the risk, but the possibility of an encounter with these majestic yet dangerous creatures remains. Number 10. Wancho Iorescan Airport, Saba Island, Caribbean This airport is nestled on the tiny Caribbean island of Saba. It's often called one of the most frightening and nerve-wracking airports in the world. And once more, one of the main reasons pilots find landing here so terrifying is its extremely short runway. Measuring just 1,299 feet in length, this leaves pilots with an extremely limited margin for error and demands precise controls and judgment during approach and touchdown. The need for a pinpoint landing spot adds immense pressure, requiring pilots to navigate a small window of opportunity with precision. And then there's the airport's location atop a narrow strip of land with steep cliffs on both sides. Pilots need to navigate and descend and execute a sharp turn shortly before touchdown in order to align the aircraft with the runway, a maneuver which demands exceptional skills and a deep understanding of the aircraft's performance in order to safely negotiate the tight approach path. Strong crosswinds, turbulence, and downdrafts are common occurrences here, making each landing attempt a high-stakes affair. Pilots must be prepared to make rapid adjustments and react to sudden changes in wind direction and intensity. 
The absence of navigational aids here further intensifies the fear for pilots. The airport lacks advanced systems such as instrument landing systems, the ILS, or precision approach path indicators, or PAPI, which provide pilots with critical guidance and visual cues during landing. Pilots must rely solely on their own visual references and situational awareness to navigate this challenging terrain and execute a safe landing. Number 9. Tocantin International Airport, Honduras this international airport, located in the heart of Tegucigalpa, the capital city of Honduras, is infamous for being one of the most nerve-wracking and challenging airports to land at. Pilots who approach Tocantin face a combination of factors that make it a truly scary experience, including a short runway, mountainous terrain, unpredictable weather, and demanding maneuvering requirements. Yep, it's another short runway, measuring just 6,112 feet in length. This one is also considerably shorter than what pilots are accustomed to at most international airports. Adding to the challenge is this airport's location amidst mountains. To approach involves navigating through a valley surrounded by steep hillsides and rugged mountains, so pilots need to contend with the need to navigate a narrow flight path while simultaneously avoiding obstacles and maintaining a stable descent profile. Furthermore, the unpredictable weather in this region amplifies the fear factor at Tocantin. Thunderstorms, strong crosswinds, and sudden wind shear are very common here, making each landing attempt a high-stakes endeavor. Additionally, Tocantin International Airport lacks advanced navigational aids, as some other airports on our list do. So, pilots must rely heavily on visual references and their own judgment, increasing the pressure and demand for accurate decision-making in a challenging environment. Number 8. Gibraltar International Airport Gibraltar International Airport, it's situated on the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar, is a scary landing experience for even the most experienced pilot. There's the ever-popular short runway, of course, which seems to be a necessary feature for any scary airport, but it's also a proximity to a major road and the presence of a towering rock formation. Measuring about 6,000 feet, the runway offers limited space for pilots to safely land and stop their aircraft and braking to ensure safe landing within the constrained runway length is challenging. And then, of course, there's the airport's unique location, situated adjacent to Winston Churchill Avenue, Gibraltar's busiest road. Pilots must contend with the need to fly low over the road during both takeoff and landing, resulting in incredibly close and an unnerving proximity to vehicles and pedestrians. The airport is also surrounded by the towering Rock of Gibraltar, which poses its own set of challenges. Pilots have to navigate that complex wind pattern created by the rock formation, which can result in sudden gusts and turbulence. The presence of the rock also limits the approach and departure path, requiring meticulous maneuvering with their aircraft to avoid the surrounding terrain. The unpredictable weather conditions in the area add to that scare factor here. Strong crosswinds, fog, and low-lying clouds will significantly affect visibility and stability, making each landing or takeoff a high-stakes operation and pilots must be prepared to adapt rapidly to changing conditions. Moving on to number 7, Telluride Regional Airport, Colorado. Nestled amidst the majestic San Juan Mountains in Colorado, Telluride Regional Airport is renowned among pilots as one of the most nerve-wracking. The combination of high altitude, challenging terrain, and unpredictable weather makes landing here a prospect that surely has many pilots waking up screaming, sweating, and clutching their pillows. So why is landing at this place such a fear-inducing idea? Well, for starters, there's the Telluride Regional Airport's extreme elevation. Situated at an astounding 9,078 feet above sea level, it is one of the highest commercial airports in North America. The thin air at such altitudes significantly affects aircraft performance, reducing engine power and decreasing lift. Pilots have to carefully calculate and adjust their approach and speed, and make sure to compensate for the reduced air density, making the landing and takeoff much more demanding and challenging. The runway itself is perched on a plateau and is relatively short, measuring just 6,911 feet in length, which amplifies the pressure on pilots. The region experiences frequent and rapid weather changes, including sudden wind, heavy snowfall, and low visibility due to fog or cloud cover. Now, those unpredictable weather conditions can make approach and landing here a bit challenging, requiring pilots to constantly adapt. Another aspect that adds fear for the pilots is the challenging instrument approach procedures here. The airport has a non-precision instrument approach, which means pilots must rely on navigational aids and visual cues to guide them safely to the runway. So, yeah, Telluride Regional Airport in Colorado poses a daunting challenge for pilots due to that high altitude, challenging terrain, unpredictable weather, and demanding approach procedures. Uh, so no, it's not a nice place to land. Whether you're a pilot or a passenger, or even a member of the cabin crew, this one's a rough one. 
The combination of these factors requires pilots to possess exceptional skills and experience in precision in order to land safely or take off from this remarkable but intimidating airport. And only those who are well-trained and adept at handling the unique challenges of Telluride dare to face the adrenaline-inducing experience of flying into this mountainous oasis. Yeah, no pressure then. Number 6. Kai Tak Airport, Hong Kong. It's now closed. This airport, formerly located in the heart of Hong Kong, was notorious for being one of the most daunting and hair-raising airports in the world. Pilots who undertook the challenge of landing here faced a unique set of factors that made it an incredibly scary experience, including a challenging approach, complex turns, and unpredictable weather. One of the reasons pilots found landing here so terrifying was the airport's approach procedure. Pilots had to navigate a curved approach known as the checkerboard approach, which involved making a 47-degree right turn at low altitude to align with the runway. This maneuver required exceptional precision and skill. Pilots had to contend with a tight turning radius, limited time to align the aircraft, and the need to descend rapidly. The airport's unique geographical features were also a major issue here. It's situated in a densely populated urban area. Kai Tak was surrounded by high-rise buildings and mountains, which resulted in strong and unpredictable winds. Pilots had to be prepared for sudden changes in wind directions and gusts, making each landing attempt here a bit unique. The proximity to buildings also increased the risk of wind shear, and wind currents could be disrupted by tall structures, adding to the complexity of the approach. Pilots had to rely heavily on instruments here and air traffic control guidance to safely navigate the challenging weather scenarios. The airport lacked modern navigational aids too, like ILS, which provide precise guidance during approach and landing. So once again, pilots are forced to rely on their training, bravery, and common sense. The airport's closure in 1998 marked the end of an era for aviation enthusiasts who kind of marveled at the extraordinary skills and nerves of steel displayed by the flight crews navigating this unique and challenging airport. Number 5. Wellington International Airport, New Zealand Strong winds, unpredictable weather patterns, and a relatively short runway make Wellington International Airport impossible to exclude from this list. And the region's notoriously strong winds are a major reason for this. It's situated on the southern coast of New Zealand's North Island. Wellington is known for its gusty and unpredictable winds, which are amplified by the city's geography. These winds can make approaching and landing procedures extremely challenging, as pilots have to constantly adjust their flight controls. Adding to the OMG factor, the airport's proximity to Cook Strait, which separates the North and South Islands of New Zealand. The strait's location exposes Wellington International to ever-changing weather patterns, including sudden changes in visibility and fog. Pilots need to be prepared to adapt rapidly to changing conditions here. Furthermore, the relatively short runway at Wellington adds to the intensity of the landing. Measuring just 6,351 feet in length, this is another prematurely ending runway which provides limited space for aircraft to land. The combination of the short runway and the potential for adverse weather conditions increases the pressure on pilots. They have to maintain full control of the aircraft throughout the entire landing process. Well, no duh. Number 4. Santos Dumont Airport, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil Santos Dumont Airport, nestled in the heart of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, is another place that strikes fear into the hearts of many rational, God-fearing pilots. Those who undertake the task of landing at this airport face a unique set of factors like most of the ones on this list that make it an incredibly scary experience, including a short runway, challenging weather conditions, and surrounding geographical obstacles. One of the primary reasons pilots find landing here a bit terrifying is the airport's short runway, of course, measuring just 4,333 feet in length. Pilots must skillfully manage their speed, descent rate, and braking to ensure a safe landing. And that's before you even consider the airport's surrounding geographical obstacles. This creates a challenging environment again, where pilots have to navigate carefully to avoid obstacles during takeoff and landing. The visual intensity and the sense of flying so close to buildings heighten the anxiety and require extraordinary focus from pilots. The region is known for its strong winds, turbulence, and sudden changes in weather, and they have to be prepared to deal with crosswinds and wind gusts during the approach and landing, which can make controlling the aircraft a bit more difficult. Moreover, the airport's proximity to Guanabara Bay adds another layer of complexity for pilots. The bay's water surface can create temperature and humidity variations, leading to fog and some low-lying clouds. Despite the daunting challenges, though, pilots who successfully land here are rewarded with breathtaking views of Rio de Janeiro's iconic landmarks, such as the Sugarloaf Mountain and Christ the Redeemer statue, which is probably quite nice after all that anxiety. Number 3. Barra Airport, Scotland 
Barra Airport, located in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland, is known for its unique and intimidating landing procedure, making it one of the most daunting and thrilling airports for pilots. And why is this airport considered so difficult? Well, firstly, the unconventional nature of the runway. Unlike traditional paved runways, Barra Airport's three runways are comprised of a wide stretch of compacted sand located on a beach. These runways are submerged under the sea during high tide, requiring pilots to carefully time their landings to coincide with low tide. The constantly changing tidal conditions demand precision and planning and execution from pilots to ensure safe landing on the exposed, sandy surface. And then there's the unpredictable weather patterns to consider, which are always so prevalent in the Outer Hebrides. This airport is often subject to strong winds, fog, and rain, which can significantly impact visibility and increase the complexity of the landing process. This requires high levels of situational awareness and precision to safely navigate. Now, mind you, the unique charm and beauty of Barra Airport might take some of the sting out of the scariness for pilots. The stunning backdrop of the Scottish coastline and the sense of landing on a remote beach do create a memorable and awe-inspiring experience. However, the combination of the rugged coastal environment on predictable tides and ever-changing weather can induce anxiety and demand exceptional piloting skills to ensure a safe landing. Number 2. Washashock Airport, Greenland Yep, this next airport is situated in Greenland, which is appropriate, really, because that's most likely the color you'll turn if you're a passenger when some unfortunate pilot has to land here. Washashuk Airport, located in southern Greenland, presents pilots with a range of challenges like all the other ones on this list, including unpredictable weather, challenging terrain, and a relatively short runway. Greenland is known for its harsh climate with frequent fog, strong winds, and sudden changes in visibility. Rapidly changing weather patterns demand constant vigilance, but we also need to talk about the challenging terrain surrounding this airport. It's nestled in a fjord with towering mountains and icy glaciers that create a dramatic and awe-inspiring landscape and landing. The narrow fjords limit maneuvering space requiring precise flight path management. And then there's the old favorite, the short runway, which adds an additional level of anxiety, measuring just 5,577 feet in length. The combination of a short runway and unpredictable weather increase the pressure on pilots. The airport serves as a gateway to the wilderness of Greenland, and the lack of a nearby support facilities and emergency services can heighten the sense of isolation and increase the stakes of a successful landing. So, if you find yourself in a cabin strapping yourself in for a landing in Greenland, then you might want to check on the location of the vomit bag. Number 1. Courchevel Altaport, France all right, we're going to finish our list with an airport in such a mountainous location that it wouldn't be unusual to find a Yeti working the control tower and a polar bear working at passport control. Because at Courchevel Airport, nestled in the French Alps, it's widely regarded as one of the most terrifying and challenging airports for pilots to land at. Surrounded by majestic mountains and featuring a notoriously, of course, short and steep runway, Courchevel Altaport presents a formidable test of skill, nerve, and precision. No surprises here, measuring just 1,762 feet in length, the runway is significantly shorter than the average length, which severely restricts the margin for error. But compounding that challenge is the steep gradient of the runway, which boasts an incline of approximately 18.5%. This creates experiences that are crazy, as pilots must navigate sharp descent and subsequently manage their speed while ensuring a safe landing. The airport's location in the heart of the French Alps adds another layer of complexity. Pilots have to contend with unpredictable weather here too, including strong crosswinds. These factors reduce visibility and increase the risk of encountering turbulence. The airport's mountainous surroundings also pose a significant threat to pilots. The presence of tall peaks and rugged terrain, of course, the potential for wind shear and downdrafts. You gotta remain vigilant, constantly adjust your flight path, and make split-second decisions. And of course, like many of its siblings on this worrying list of ours, Courchevel Airport lacks the traditional navigational aids such as ILS, which provide pilots with precise guidance during the approach and landing. As a result, pilots have to rely heavily on visual cues and their own judgment, heightening the pressure and fear associated with landing here. Fun, huh? And if this list has made you never want to step foot in a plane again, never mind endure a landing in one, then frankly, I don't blame you. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members. 